I'm Kirsten Wise from Purdue University, and today we'll show you how we quantify the fungus that causes charcoal rot in soybean stems. After we've sampled the soybeans from the field, we'll take those back to the greenhouse and clean them with a wire brush to remove all of the roots. We then take sections of these soybean stems and place them in a dryer. The dryer will dry them down and then we grind them up into a powder. We will combine the samples that we took in the field to get one sample per plot. It is important to clean the grinder out between each treatment. After the sample is ground, we will collect the material in a 15 milliliter tube, which will be taken to the lab for further processing. We start with ground soybean tissue and weigh out 0.05 grams of each sample. We'll add a mil of a bleach solution to each sample for sterilization, and then vortex those samples three times for one minute, followed by 15 seconds of resting. After they've been vortexed, we will centrifuge each sample. After the samples have been centrifuged, we'll add water and run them through a sieve. We'll wash the samples through the sieve for at least 30 seconds with distilled water. Once the samples have been washed, we'll collect the remaining sample in a 15 milliliter tube. For each sample, you need to prepare 50 mils of potato dextrose agar or PDA. These need to be prepared in advance and individually for each sample. Once the PDA has cooled to 50 degrees Celsius, we're going to add rifampicin and turgotol to the mixture. Once the rifampicin and turgotol have been mixed, then we'll add the sample to the media. Once the sample is added to the media, we'll mix the sample and then pour it into five petri dishes, which would equal 50 mils. After plates have been poured, incubate the plates at 30 degrees Celsius in the dark for three to five days. After this time, you can count the colonies of Macrophamina phaseolina on the plates. These colonies will appear gray to black and typically be on the surface of the plates. You need to count the colonies on all five plates per sample and multiply by 20 to obtain the colony forming units per gram of soybean stem tissue. Mm -hmm.